in a typical 200 ton cooling tower that operates at a thousand hours a year, um, you could see as much as 600 pounds of particulate in the cooling tower. So ASHRAE recognized at that point that yes, that you know, dirt getting into the system through the cooling tower can be a major issue in uh, how the entire system operates and the efficiency of that system. Depending on the location of the cooling towers, there's airborne dirt typically in any spot throughout the country or the world for that matter. As the air brings that material, whether it's dust from agricultural processes, um, construction environments, uh, concrete sites, brake dust, tire rubber, all that material eventually becomes airborne. And in that, it can cross the cooling tower surfaces and as the air is drawn through, the water will scrub that material down into the basin. The main problems that dirt creates is under deposit corrosion in your basin. Um, it's a labor intensive process to remove dirt manually. You have inefficiencies of your, of your heat exchangers, whether they're shell and tube or plate and frame. And overall, your mechanical system cannot operate at its best efficiencies when dirt interferes with the overall process of maintaining temperatures. As dirt builds up inside the cooling basin, um, it's going to provide a breeding ground for bacteria, uh, which will decrease the efficiency of the algicides and or biocides that the water treatment company is, is using inside the hydronic system. We're attacking the particulates where they come into the tower, where we see the most buildup before it gets downstream to the system and can affect the heat exchanging properties of, of the downstream system. As an engineer, you should be concerned with both water treatment and mechanical filtration. It takes both water treatment and filtration to work together to have a clean hydronic system that operates efficiently and is designed.